How do you push off your terminal decade into the far off future, way beyond the horizon? How do you do that? In addition to being a neurosurgeon, my job as a physician is to help you live long. There are three things that I would prefer all my patients to do. Number one, use a cardiovascular exercise to increase your oxygenation. Number two, increase your strength. Number three, increase the density of your bone. Here's how. You have to make sure that you receive the proper nutrient. That includes, of course, vitamin D, calcium, but also you have to, over the course of a lifetime, load up your skeleton, preferably several times a week. So you have to do weight-bearing exercises, and that's important to be steady and to continue doing it. If you're a female and you're menopausal or postmenopausal, it's especially important to do weight-bearing exercises plus the nutritional supplementation we talked about. Maintaining bone density is critical. Second, maintaining muscular strength. You actually have to maintain strength. You have to be able to bench press. You have to be able to do curls. Third, VO2 max falls off precipitously after the age of 60. And so it's very important to start doing cardiovascular exercises even before that. But even after 60, you must start and maintain it. You have to do an aerobic type of exercise. I prefer Stairmaster or elliptical because they're smooth motion and they're very easy on the back. It exercises thigh muscles, the quadriceps, the gluteus muscles, and the lower back. These exercises, cardiovascular, increasing the VO2 max, strength exercise, doing weight exercise, increasing your muscular strength, and making sure you get the proper supplementation for it for the bones will be the three things that you can do which will delay the onset of Alzheimer's, delay perhaps the onset of cardiovascular disease and metabolic disease, and lead to a longer life, more fulfilling life.